let's start off with news reports out today that the African Development Corporation has acquired about a 20% stake in Bank ABC. Tell us more. Uh, thanks, Lerato, for having me. Um, yes, uh, ABC acquired 20% uh, uh, stake uh, in ABC Holdings uh, on, through the open market. They advised us that they'd acquired these shares and... Um, you know, obviously, you know, they, they pretty much, uh, you know, look at us in maybe in a positive light. Uh, we, we haven't really discussed much with them beyond just understanding that they, they look at uh, ABC as a, as, a, as a very attractive investment in, in Southern Africa. What do you stand to gain? I mean, some experts have said you will be benefiting from their extensive European network. Well, I think, like I said, you know, we, this is just early days. They just acquired, uh, you know, a stake, and uh, our understanding is that they look at, um, you know, us as representing a, a very good entry in a number of African markets, a number of opportunities, uh, all diversified through a, a portfolio holding, through ABC Holdings listed on the Botswana Stock Exchange. So they see an attractive investment. Uh, beyond that, really, we haven't engaged them particularly. Okay, let's talk about your results, which were also disclosed today. Operating profits up 320%. I mean, you've had a good showing in Zambia, for instance. Tell us how you've done this. Well, you know, um, we, we've been working on this uh, for a very long time. Our long-term objective is to become a very strong Pan-African uh, business uh, you know, bank uh, with a retail offering. We obviously, uh, you know, have been working in, on e all our individual operations, and this is the first year that all of them are turned in a profit. And I think it also reflects that uh, uh, the quality of our earnings has improved because most of this income actually came out of our core banking activities. Even our non-interest uh, income is driven mostly by banking income. So overall, we are extremely happy that a long-term plan, a, a, a marathon, not a sprint, is all can, coming together. I mean, you've had to also manage things like your um, recurrent expenditure, and we've seen net income climb 67%. Just talk to us about your um, cost-to-income ratio and how you've managed to achieve uh, some kind of stabilization. Well, our cost-to-income ratio remains high at 77%. Our aim long-term is to have it round about the 50% mark, plus or minus. Um, and because we entered into the retail business uh, from 2009, we expect that it will spike a little bit and then uh, it will stabilize. That we suspect that from two, two, towards the end of 2011, mostly 2012, our cost income ratio should really start uh, falling because the full impact of our retail business would be felt, increased revenue, and obviously we would have spent most of the uh, investment that's required for our retail business. And then we will start seeing it uh, sort of gravitating towards our long-term uh, benchmark, which is 50%, as I indicated earlier. I mean, most financial institutions, obviously post-credit crisis, are starting to show a recovery in the loan book, in advances. Um, the same can be said for you as well. Your balance sheet has expanded by about 36%. Are you worried that with this creeping inflation uh, that's come, starting to come into Africa that uh, you could have some bad debts to contend with come end of the year? Well, banking uh, will always uh, contend with, uh, with credit matters and with, with you know, potential bad loans. That is really uh, you know, almost always going to be a big challenge for banks, and we are not an exception. Obviously, historically, this has been a big challenge for us, and, but we've invested significantly, uh, in, uh, particularly in human capital, uh, in also in systems, making sure that we manage our credit very, very well. And I think what you're seeing an improvement in, in our credit ratios and so forth is a reflection of, of our investment in that business. And we expect that this is something that we will improve on as we go along. Long term, we really need to be uh, where our peers are or better, which is our NPR ratio needs to be a 1%, around about the 1% mark, mm -hmm. and our, our, our actual charge uh, on the P&L should also be within the, uh, our, the, our peers benchmark. A final and a brief question. Your plans going forward, I mean, you've been focusing on your subsidiaries. Are we going to see more expansion in this regard? What's your strategy? Absolutely. We, 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 we look at ourselves as a growth story, a growth stock and a growth, uh, you know, uh, African story. Uh, and so we, we do anticipate that there will be uh, growth across all our, uh, you know, our whole footprint in all our operations. And obviously, you know, with uh, revenue hopefully growing 
uh, much stronger than our cost because, you know, we've invested quite significantly and hopefully the systems and people and stuff that we've invested in will start generating, you know, greater income. So we, we, we think we are a really growth story. In fact, that's what we stand for uh, as, as Bank ABC.